Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today's DIY is inspired by Paramore's Hard Times music video. Ding, 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 hard times. Gonna make you wonder why you even try hard times. Since I'm going to a Paramore concert very soon, I thought I would make Haley's black and white color blocked overalls that she wore in the music video. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion and let's get started. I'll be making my own overall pattern using a pair of jeans at home by tracing the front and back of the pants. A little tip when tracing your own clothes is to mark where the actual seam line is and not where the sides of the pants are on fold. Next, I add more paper on top of the back pant leg because the back side of the overall will be one piece. Draw a line to extend the center back on top and create the back design. I made mine shaped like a triangle, but feel free to make it whatever shape you like. For the front of the pants, I cut the waist off and created a separate waistband piece. Always make sure to add your seam allowance. Next, I drew the pocket curve on the front pant and cut it out. Lay another piece of paper behind and trace out the pocket shape. This will become the pocket facing. Then draw out how big you want your pocket bag to be. I connected the piece I cut out back to the pants and traced out the other side of the pocket bag. Here are all of my pattern pieces so far. We have the full back overall, the front pants, front waistband, and the pocket facing and pocket back. All we need is the top of the overall in the front. To make the top of the overalls, I traced the waistband and just made sure that the length of it reached my chest. You'll also only need half of the pattern piece since the design is color blocked. Now that the longest part is over, we can finally cut out all of our pieces and start sewing. I bought three yards of black denim and three yards of white denim from Joanne. I think I could have gone away with two yards each, but I always like buying more just to be safe. Cut out two front legs out of the black denim and two back pieces out of the white denim. Next, take the two white pieces, face them right sides together, and sew down the center back. Switching over to the straps really quickly, I made one and a half inch straps by cutting a long strip that was four inches wide, and then pressed the edges over a half inch on both sides, and then folded the straps and pressed it one more time. Then sew the open side closed by top stitching it down. After the back overall is sewn together, I trace the top half onto white denim to create a lining. Then sandwich the straps inside and sew the lining and overall together. Turn it right sides out and clip the corners for a cleaner look and then top stitch the overall back along the sides to hold the lining in place. Face the two black pant legs right sides together and sew down the crotch seam. Using a lighter weight fabric, I cut the pockets out and you'll need two pieces for each pattern. Face the pocket facing right sides together with the pants and sew along the pocket curve. Before sewing the back side of the pocket on, you'll need to sew a matching piece of denim on top of it to cover the pocket bag. Top stitch the little patch onto the pocket bag and then sew the pocket together.
Next, cut out two black pieces and two white pieces for the top of the overalls. Half of it will be used as the lining. I also just realized that the lining didn't have to be color blocked. You can just cut it out on fold and have it be one color since it won't be seen. Sew the top pieces together down the center front. Then face the two layers right sides together and sew around the sides and top, leaving the bottom open. Turn the top inside out and pop out the corners. Then sew two rows of stitching around the sides. I top stitched once along the very edge and a second time one inch apart. The most annoying thing about sewing a color block design is changing the thread back and forth to match the color you're sewing on. If you're okay with having the thread show on the different colored denim, then go for it. But for me, I wanted white thread on white denim and black thread on black denim. Back to the front of the overall, I cut out two waistbands and sandwiched them right sides together with the top and sewed all three layers together. Then sew the front side of the waistband to the pants because you'll sew the lining waistband down after the zipper is installed. I decided on zippers at the sides of the overall instead of buttons for my own personal touch and picked up these awesome fashion zippers that are 7 inches from Joanne. Before sewing the pants together at the side seam, I lined up the zipper on top and marked the bottom of it on the pants. Now we can face the overall right sides together and sew the inner leg seam closed and sew the side seam closed up until that zipper marking. Next, press your seam allowance and line up the edges with the zipper teeth and sew the zipper in. After the zipper is sewn, we can fold the lining down over the zipper tape and finish sewing the waistband. Overalls aren't complete without pockets in the back, so I measured and cut two pockets out. Then while wearing them, I pinned them on the overall and traced them in place to make sewing way easier. If you're wondering what the stitching looks like on pockets, just grab a pair of jeans and copy the stitching. I did an edge stitch around the pocket and sewed another row a quarter inch away. Lastly, install the overall buckles. This little kit was super easy to install. I just cut a small hole to insert the button and then hammered it in place. It's actually very secure and only took 5 minutes. One thing I wish that was included was an adjustable strap piece. I couldn't find any at the store in the size I needed, so what I did was just pull the straps up to where it fits and tacked it down. And of course, hem the bottom of the pants and we're finished.
guys enjoyed this color block overall tutorial let me know down in the comments if you are a paramore fan like me and if you're new here don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more diy fashion thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye